So the first thing I'm going to put on is this lip treatment by Wet n Wild. I have used this before on my channel. Um, it is a very, very good lip treatment. This really nourishes my lips and makes my lips feel really soft. So first things first, I don't have a foundation that I want to use today that's actually new from the drugstore, but I am going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus dewy foundation. Now this is in the shade caramel and I know it is a little bit dark for me, but I have this product from LA Girl called Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is actually the blue shade here. I want to mix a little bit of this in here because this is actually used for times when you have like a really warm foundation and you actually want to tone it down. You want to get kind of that orangey, you know, tone out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this in that foundation. So I am going to apply the foundation first. I know normally I do my eyes first and then I go into foundation, but today I want to go in with foundation first. So let me get a primer. So the primer I'm going to use today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Serum. I love this primer. It's a really good drugstore primer, guys. If you're looking for something a little bit more hydrating, it also has that tacky feeling. This is a really good primer for that. So I just put that on the perimeter of my face. I also like this primer with the dewy foundation that I'm going to use. I am going to go in with an oldie but goodie, and that's the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Primer. I'm going to use that for the center of my face. This helps mattify my T-zone. When I was using this in the summer, it actually prevented the oils from seeping through. I am going to use a pore primer, and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I use this one and the e.l.f. primer interchangeably. They're both really good. So now I'm going to mix the dewy foundation from Wet n Wild with the LA Girl pigment. So this is the packaging. It does come with a pump. I've already put some foundation on the back of my hand. I'm just going to pump that much into the foundation and then I'm going to mix it all around. So it kind of made it more neutral like. I can see that it took some of the warmth out of it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it did. It took a little bit of the warmth out. Okay. Oh gosh. It looks looks like green. Let's see how this would look without this blue shade. Oh yeah, no. Look at that. See how that's yellow and that looks green? I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, let me take this off. I don't like this green undertone. It's like an olive undertone, I guess. I, I don't like it. It looks too green. I went ahead and added some more primer. So I'm not going to use this, guys, because for some reason it made it have like a green undertone, kind of like an olive undertone. I don't like the olive undertone because I really feel like most foundations with an olive undertone have like kind of a green tint to them. So I'm not going to use this today, and I'm not going to use the Dewy Foundation, but I am going to go in with my number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. I've really been loving this foundation, guys, especially for the fact that it has SPF 50. That is such a big plus for me. And not only that, it looks beautiful on the skin. So I am going to apply this to my skin really quickly, and I'm going to use a brush. I did do a video where I used this foundation, and I'll link it here so you guys can check it out. But I really loved applying this foundation with a brush because it gave me really nice coverage. So we're going to do that today. And I'm going to go through this really quickly since I've already done it in a previous video. I normally use the Milk Makeup Primer with this. I haven't really used a hydrating primer, but today's a good day to test that out. So hopefully it works really well with this. This shade's a little bit dark for me, but I plan on getting darker in the summer, so hopefully this will work. But in the meantime, I might go ahead and buy another shade that's a shade lower from it so that I can go ahead and mix the two and get my perfect shade. So yeah, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Winky Luxe Full Coverage Concealer. This concealer has been really good for my under eyes. It's very hydrating. Now the shade is a little bit darker than what I normally go for, but I still like it. I feel like it goes on so super nice under the eyes and it provides such great hydration to my under eyes. Um, because I want a little bit more brightening under there, I am going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one's in the shade Sand Sable. I'm just going to add a little bit to the corner, just like that. And this is just so it'll brighten up the under eye a little bit. I do like taking my concealer all the way out to the edge. 
just love the way that kind of lifts my cheeks. And next I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. This one's in the shade Medium Sand. This is just to cover up hyperpigmentation and kind of brighten up the T-zone. I do like that e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer to kind of cover up my hyperpigmentation. Now it doesn't do that great of a job as compared to my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I do love using this when I'm not going for like a full glam look. Um, so I don't mind using that for just like day-to-day -day use. I do have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. I have been eyeing this powder at the drugstore and when Ulta had a buy one get one half off, I went ahead and picked up this powder and a highlighter and I haven't actually used the powder so I want to go ahead and use that today and I need to take off this film that's in here. So I made a mess and I took off the tape but that's the powder itself, and it does have a very light yellow tinge to it. I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush to go ahead and place the powder on my under eyes. Well, that went on really smoothly. I'm going to go ahead and put it on those places where I put the concealer. I am going to prime my eyes with this Revolution Pro Eye Elements central eye primer this is what the packaging looks like this is the primer itself really nice and creamy and i just dab a little bit on my eyelids then i take this brush and i just kind of blend it all in so for eyeshadow today we're going to go in with the essence earth eyeshadow palette Essence has actually come out with so many eyeshadow palettes, but this is the one that actually caught my eye. And I think it was because it has all these beautiful, like, earthy tones, and it also has some greens in there. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I just stuck my nail right here in this shadow. That's so disappointing. Anyway, but yeah, I think it's going to be a beautiful palette on the eyes. I'm just hoping that it will offer, like, pigmentation and blendability that I'm looking for. So we're going to go ahead and just dive into this palette. I am going to use this shade right here to go ahead and go all over the lid to set that primer. Um, there aren't any shade names on this palette, so I'm just going to have to point out which shades I'm going to be using today. But that shade went on really silky smooth. I am going to start with this shade right here. I'm using a Morphe M441, and I'm going to place that in my crease. I'm looking to see if I have any fallout from that shadow. I'm going to go ahead and just place some powder just right there on my under eyes just for the fallout part of it because I don't want to ruin what I already have. So let's go back into that shade that I just went into. That is a pretty light bronze shade. Totally caught me off guard because I thought it was going to be more of like a yellow shade or a mustard shade, but it's not. It's a light bronze. Might have a little bit of gold in it as well. It's nicely pigmented, really pretty. I grabbed the Sigma E25 and I'm going to go into this brown shade right here and I'm just going to take that in the crease. Now these shades are not matte. I think the only matte shade was that first white shade that I put on. Everything else it has more of a shimmer to it. But still so beautiful. These are so nicely pigmented, guys. Look at that. I can't even remember how much I paid for this palette. I'll put it right here because I completely forgot. Oh, I love that. I love this shade. It's a beautiful, like, bronzy shade. I'm going to go ahead and, and go into this green shade right here using that same brush. And I'm just going to go right here on the corner of my eyelid. Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. So I'm going to take this Anastasia 18, and I'm going to go into that light green shade. And I'm going to put that right on the lid from the inner wow look at that that is so freaking pigmented I didn't even have to wet the brush okay so I just reviewed the Winky Lux shadow palettes and I'm gonna tell you right now they have nothing on this palette nothing I have not had to struggle with blending. I have not had to add more just so I could get the pigmentation because it's obviously there. I'm just so impressed. Look how beautiful those shadows have come out. Now I am gonna take a brush and blend the edges 
because I want to make sure that everything looks seamless. I can't believe how beautiful this looks. I'm not a makeup artist or anything, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need to be to use these shadows because they blend so well together and they just come off so beautiful on the eyelid. My gosh, that is gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust off this powder. I do want to mention that there was hardly any kickback with those shadows. As you can see here, you hardly have any mess from these shadows at all. So if you're the type that doesn't like all that powder going everywhere, that palette right there does not produce a lot of powder. I don't know if I want to set my face with, um, with that banana powder. Do I want to? I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and set the rest of my face with the banana powder. I want to see how it sets this foundation. It's set it pretty nicely. It doesn't look too matte um, or flat or anything like that. It has more of like a velvety look to it than it does a satin look. So it looks pretty good. I will say that I do love it for the under eyes so far. Um, I'm looking at my under eyes and they have not creased. So that is a good thing. Um, I have been loving another powder for my under eyes, but because we're focusing on that powder, I'm not going to use that today. I just want to see how this wet and wild powder actually holds up. So I did purchase the Pro Fusion Pro Contour Palette. This is a palette that I picked up at Five Below. I haven't been back to that store yet since that day that I had purchased all those items, but I do plan on returning because like I said, I found a bunch of cool stuff there. That little love light, I found that there as well and it was only like five bucks so this is what the palette looks like kind of reminds me of the Kat Von D light and shade palette so I'm gonna use it just like I would that palette I did have that palette in my collection but I don't have it anymore I think I actually gave it away so I'm gonna go ahead and use this center one right here to go ahead and contour under my cheekbones That went on really nicely. It's nicely pigmented and it's easily blendable. Looks really nice on the skin. So I am gonna use this shade right here. I'm gonna use that just right here where I want some like highlighted areas. And it's really not under the eyes. It's like my cheekbones and then my nose and the center of my forehead. That doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty. I did purchase this Physicians Formula Magic Mosaic Multicolored Custom Bronzer. This is the packaging here. This is new to Physicians Formula. It says it's a light bronzer bronzer, so I don't know if this is gonna show up on me, but when I saw it, I thought I could go ahead and just mix it all together to see if it provides like a darker bronzer. But these are the shades right here. So this side is the lighter side, and of course this is the darker, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix all of them together to get the shade that I'm looking for. I'm actually gonna go in with this e.l.f. stipple brush. I'm just gonna swirl the brush in there. Okay, this brush might not be what I need for this. I probably need a little bit more of a denser brush. Okay, so I am gonna go in with this Eco Tools brush. It's a powder brush, and I'm hoping this will get a little bit more product out. And bronze my face with that. Nope, I really did not get much color from this. I do see a little bit of bronze, but it's not enough to say that it is a bronzer that I would use for my skin tone. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the bronzer that you guys have already seen, and it's the Winky Luxe Bronzer in Mocha. This is what it looks like. I love the way this bronzer goes on. It does a really good job of bronzing the skin. and it smells so good. I am gonna do my eyebrows off camera. I'm using the Morphe Eyebrow Pencil in Java. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll come back and finish off the makeup. Okay guys, I did use my Sephora Clear Brow Gel to brush out my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna go in with my Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. I am using this shade today just as a blush and a highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dab that right there. It has like a beautiful peach tone to it. I am gonna go back into the Essence Earth Palette. I'm using the Sigma Exact Blend E32 brush. I am gonna use this shade right here and I'm gonna use that in my inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here on my lower lash line.
That's gorgeous. I did purchase a few new lipsticks from Maybelline. I purchased 275 Crazy for Coffee. That's this shade right here. I also purchased 940 Touchable Taupe. The last one that I purchased is 144 Naked Dare. I think I had purchased Naked Dare before and I don't know what happened to it, but I remember really loving this shade. So I think what I want to do, I want to go in with a darker shade today, like the taupe or the coffee. Mm -hmm. I might just do the taupe. Well, should I do the coffee? I'm going to do the coffee today. Let me get a lip liner. I'm going to go in with the lip liner by LA Girl, and it's the Cafe Lip Liner. I love these LA Girl lip liners. They're so good. I'm going to take the crazy for coffee, but I'm only going to go like on the outskirts of my lips. Outskirts, you know what I mean, the outer perimeter of my lips. And then on the center, I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. I'm just trying to concentrate more on the outer perimeter. So then I'm going to take the Naked Dare and I'm going to go on the center of my lips. Kind of has like that 90s vibe. So to finish everything off, I am going to go in with a number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. In that video where I tried the Winky Lux products, I also tried this product and I have been loving it. So I'm going to go ahead and get a brush. I'm using this Japanese brush. I'm just going to buff everything out with this. This just gives a really like beautiful glow to the skin, but not too glowy. It just gives my skin a healthy look. All right guys, this is the finished look. Let me go over a couple of products that I really didn't care for throughout this application. One of them was the LA Girl Pro Color in Blue. This did not work for me because when I mixed it with that foundation, it actually gave like an olive undertone to that foundation. So I'm not for the olive undertones. I think they look kind of gray on my skin. So this was not a good product for me. Now another product that did not work for me is the Physician's Formula Mosaic Bronzer. This is made more for people who are light to light medium skin tone. I don't think this is gonna be a product for medium skin tone on up. You can barely see it on my hand there. It's like right there. So yeah, this is not a good shade for me. I hope they come out with a darker one so that I can try it. Because Physicians Formula always has really good products, especially their butter bronzers, um, their foundation. I love a lot of stuff from them. So yeah, if they come out with a darker shade, I will be trying that but this one was way too light for me. So other than that, I think everything else worked perfectly on my skin. And I will say the star of this video has to be the Essence Earth Palette. Guys, you have to get your hands on this palette. It is very affordable and it has some of the most beautiful earth tone shades. I mean, look at those, so beautiful. There's hardly any kickback. The blendability is there. The pigmentation is there. Now there aren't any matte shadows in here other than the white shadow that I used. So you're not gonna have like that typical matte transition shade that you would normally use. You would have to go into another palette for that. But this to me does not need a matte shadow for transition. I think this by itself went on so beautifully on the eye. I think every shade mixed well together. There wasn't like any splotchiness where I felt like I had to really work at it. It just went on beautifully. So this is the star of this video. And all the other products worked well. The banana powder, the lipsticks, all the other products I've used were awesome. So anyway, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.